Virgo, I am back at it with you. All right. So as promised, I am back to do additional Oracle readings for your sign for the month of October because I did not have all of these wonderful Oracle cards when we first were doing videos, okay? When we first did the October videos, I did not have those wonderful Oracle decks. So I am going to pull additional um, guidance for you. So this is a bonus read, all right? So let's pull three cards for you in regards to love, okay? Virgo, let's do some love for Virgo. So Spirit, please give me some guidance for Virgo in regards to love in the month of October. Thank you so much for all your messages in the past, present, and future. Please give us some guidance and love for the sign of Virgo. All right, my Virgos. My lovely Virgo is what we got going for you for love. What's this? Oh, we got too many cards here. Healing family issues, true love, and separation. Well, that doesn't make any sense now, does it? actually does what i'm getting what i'm just getting is like it's somebody that's going through a lot of family issues a lot of stuff in their relationship is stemming from issues that went on with their family okay maybe someone had issues with their mom i'm getting someone has issues with their mother and it's affecting how they deal with women they may have a true love Someone that's, that they know is their true love, but right now y'all are going through a separation because you are having a hard time connecting and truly being who this this person needs you to be because you have to deal with some shit that was going on with your family issues. And you know that you have issues that's going on with you on the inside with how you deal with women because of shit with your mom. So that's what I'm getting. That is like one scenario that I'm getting. And that is most definitely what I'm getting. All right. So let's find out what the overall energy is surrounding um, Virgos in the month of October. Those hips and that ass don't compare at all. Look, you hear the song in the background? All I want is you. All they do is. And it's saying all them other girls, the only thing they doing is distracting me. But now I realize all I want is you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are in this separation right now. And you know that that's your true love. And you realizing that I need to heal these family issues because I truly love this girl. All I want is you. The door to spirit, all right? That's your overall energy for the month of October. Opening that door to spirit, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you really come to self-realization of shit that you need to change with yourself, with yourself, and what really caused this, this separation, healing it. Spirit is opening up that door. In your heart for you to really recognize, you know what I'm saying, what the true problems is and why you're not able to, you know, connect. Why you're not able to connect. And I don't want you to lose this true love of this person. You know what I'm saying? Study long, study wrong. You know what I'm saying? Don't sit there and be in that separation for too long because you'll mess around and lose your girl for real. And you'll be sitting up there crying just like they cried on this song. All I want is you now. You know? Please give them some life purpose guidance. Please give Virgo life purpose guidance for the month of October. Thank you so much for it. Ooh. Ooh. You're on the right path, all right? You're on the right path, honey. 
are on the right path. You are right there at the door to spirit. You are doing the right thing. You are healing the family issues. You are doing the right thing. You know what you need to do. Maybe you need to go back and go talk to your mom. And just be like, look, Slim, certain shit that happened in my childhood or didn't happen in my childhood, it's been causing issues with me and how I deal with women. And I need to heal our relationship in order for me to heal myself and move forward. Or at least come to an understanding or face the fact I'm trying to tell you how I feel about certain shit that went on. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just picturing in my head right now someone that has a mother that had niggas in and out of the house a lot. Like a whole bunch of different niggas. Clear your space. Clear your space. Spirit, give me one more card. These are the Archangel um, Oracle cards. This is messages directly from Spirit. Is a direct guidance message. Spirit, please give me direct guidance. For the sign of Virgo in October. Okay. You're on your right space. You're on the right uh, path. I'm sorry. You need to clear your space and you're knocking right on the door to spirit. Okay. Nature. All right. Nature. Let's find out what your day-to-day -day guidance is in the month of October, Virgo. Spirit, please give me some day-to-day -day guidance for the month of October for the sign of Virgo. Please give me some guidance for them in their day-to-day. -day. What do they need to know and focus on in their day-to-day -day journey? What do they need to focus on in the month of October? You see only love. You see only love. Enjoy. Yeah. All right. This is a very beautiful message. I'm getting a very beautiful message here. This is someone who's really coming to their self and they're realizing the things that they've done in the past that may have caused some obstacles and may have caused this separation. And they're really, really trying to do their self work. They're trying to clear in their space. They are trying to clean, cleanse their space. Get rid of color. Clear the energy around you. And use, what is this? Feng Shui. Is that what they say? What's say? Feng Shui. Whatever. Whatever. Child, I, I look. All these weird ass words. I ain't. What? Anyway. So, all right, you guys. So, I'm going to read directly from the Archangel Oracle book. This Doreen Virtue wrote about clearing your space. So, it says, additional message. Your home and work environments affect you on many levels. Clutter can erode your energy. Creativity and prosperity. I will help you find the time and motivation to clear your interferences from your physical environment. Together, we'll release anything that's not serving you. We'll donate, recycle, discard of any unused items. We'll open the windows and circulate fresh air into the rooms. And I'll escort lower energies away. You'll notice a huge improvement in all areas of your life as a result to this endeavor. Okay? So... This is telling you to, like, really get rid of anything in your life that's just holding you back. Anything that is not serving you right now. Because the only thing that you see right now is love. That's the only thing you see is love because you know that this, per know that this person is your true love. And you really do not want anything to get in, in the way of this, this really being everything that it should have been the first time. The first time, you know, so this card says, it says, look past the seeming errors, mistakes and misunderstandings and see the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about the healing in the under dream of ways. OK. So just like I told you, you know. You made some mistakes. You didn't go about this love in the right way. And the person walked away. Okay? The person walked away. But you're on the right path. 
You're on the right path because you see that this is your true love now. You have a certain level of respect. A certain level of respect about the situation and your feelings. You are on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. Okay? You are right here at the door. You are right here at the door to spirit. And I'm going to read what this means. And again, this is from the Energy Oracle um, book. This is from um, Sandra Ann Taylor. So, this says the door opens up the expansive energetic um, realm where all new beginnings originate. The orbs of light are guiding you. Okay? Through the clouds of earthly world, leading you deeper to a deeper understanding of your internal identity, the source of all true value and power. This door opens to truly unlimit your potential for changes that are happening here reach deep into the core of your being. As such, this card often heralds your increasing powers in spiritual arts and deepening connection with the spiritual world. Don't be surprised if you find yourself becoming more intuitive or more aware of spiritual presence or more power, powerful in, or powerful in your own spiritual practices. Now it's time for you to open up to the unexpected guidance and inspiration of spirit and to the magic powers of your true identity. Okay? You are on the right path, okay? You are opening up the door to spirit where you're coming into your own and you're starting to get your own intuition and you're starting to know and trust the things that you are coming to in your own thoughts and in your minds. You know what I'm saying? That takes a lot, you know what I'm saying, to understand and trust spirit. And understand that spirit is real. The spirit is with you and is guiding you every day. And just being like, look, I need to heal certain shit within myself. I need to heal certain shit with myself. And sometimes going to spirit, going to God, that is the right path. There is no other path but that. It starts with, starts with self-healing. It starts with self-realization. That I need to come to God and that I need this spiritual guidance in order to get me on the right path so I can go get my woman back. Because I fucked up. Because I fucked up. You know what I'm saying? You realize a certain shit that you need to let go and you're clearing your space. If any type of toxic energy that you're holding in regards to family shit, you're ready to release and clear that out. Because you can't continue keep walking through your life like that. You're not going to have a healthy relationship if you're still holding on to shit with your parents and shit that happened in your family. And it don't necessarily have to be your mom. It could be a female dealing with shit with her dad. You know? The fact that she has a lack of father. You know? And maybe you just, you, you out here living in a way that maybe a young lady, out here living in a way that a young lady should not be living. Okay? Looking for the love and attention of a man. And you came upon your true love. And that person realized in that manner of what you were living. And said, uh-uh, I ain't dealing with that. I'm not dealing with that. Because a true woman that really respects herself. Okay? And that really nurtured herself. Okay? That nurtured and give a fuck about herself. You would not be carrying yourself around like that. And they left. And they separated from you. And now you feeling that shit because you realizing like all of this shit, all this running around, all this shit that I'm doing, all these other niggas that I'm fucking with, they ain't even, they ain't giving me half of what this person was doing. Nowhere near. And now you're on the right path. You're on the door. You're knocking on the door to spirit and you're on the right path. Baby girl, what you saying? All I want is you. All I see is you, okay? And you got to look past the errors and the mistakes and the misunderstandings and the things that you've done in the past. And you got to learn to love yourself again, okay? So what your father wasn't in your life, okay? So what? You have to go to, you have to go to, to spirit about that. You have to go to God and ask God to heal your heart so that you can move forward and nurture yourself and grow so that you can go and get your man. Okay. As a nurturer, 
As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both acts are important for you right now. What was supposed to be right here anyway? But um, you have to nurture yourself again like a baby. Okay? That relationship with your mother or that relationship with your father, maybe you need to take, if you can, work on it. And if you can't, that's fine. Be at peace with it. But if you can, you need to go back and nurture that situation again like you a child again and try to rebuild a relationship with your family members that you're having issues with. Okay? And try to be in a more healthy way with your family because if you don't have a, if you don't have family, who do you have? You know? But if... Whoever this family is, member is, if they're not willing to work with you, don't fight it. Be at peace with it and let it go. And that can be your healing, okay? You're on the right path, okay? And you're clearing your space. And if that person doesn't want to be in your life, or if they still want to treat you in any type of ill type of way, clear your space. Cleanse your space of anything and anyone that is no longer of a benefit to you. Your space of anything and everything and everyone that is not for the betterment of your well-being, okay? Clear your energy, clear your space of anything that does not serve you anymore, okay? Because right now, it's a time for joy. It's a time for joy because we want to come out of this separation. We're coming out of this separation. We are. Because you're doing the right, you, you're, you're on the right path. And you're going to go get your true love again, Okay? You're definitely going to go get your true love again. You're on the right path. Just know that you're doing the right thing. It says, joy is the highest energy of all. It is a magical sense that everything is possible. Because everything is possible. Because you are changing and you are working on yourself. So the fact that you are willing to do that self-work, baby, anything is possible. That is what spirit is trying to tell you. Okay? The joys of spring. Wait, the joys spring from appreciating the gift within each moment. Joy allows you to attract create and present present and future moments are at their highest possible levels so this is to let you know listen all that you see is this love and that there is going to be joy coming into your life there is going to be joy and good luck and everything that your heart desires coming to your life because you are on the right path all right so this has been your reading virgo y'all have a good october i will see you guys for the mid-months Y'all keep it easy.